Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for X-Men Gold Issue 2. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno Episode 190, and that show will review all the comics I read this week in one show. In the description below, there are um, the exclusive comics that I have for that show, and the episode will be annotated. But let's start talking about X-Men Gold. Now, one thing I will say, because of the controversy, until we get a new artist, I will not be talking about the artwork. Um, I discuss this on Frontline Live a bit, but that is how I want to deal with the situation. I, I don't think it's right to boycott the whole book because Mark Guggenheim is doing a good job on the book, but I do not think the artist deserves to have his art spoken about. So I will not be talking about the artwork here, but let's get into the story. So with this issue, we get to see uh, Kitty Pride, you know, still being leader, and that's awesome, and her dealing with the whole brotherhood situation. So if you missed politics in X-Men, um, which obviously the politics uh, situation and um, undertones are always there for the X-Men, but it's very heavy in this issue where we get to see the world is reacting to the brotherhood and how that affects the X-Men and uh, how they see the X-Men. And that's pretty much the whole issue is them, like, figuring out a little bit more about the Brotherhood. I thought the most interesting part was Magma is part of the Brotherhood. So all the other characters are, are not nobodies, you know them, but um, some of them are, are new characters. Even Kitty's, like, said three times, like, who is that? I don't even know who that is, but they're part of the Brotherhood now. Uh, but obviously the biggest shock is Magma, because she's actually been part of the X-Men, and I thought that was a cool little twist there. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the issue, though, is them kind of trying to deal with that. Uh, so I will say last issue was a bit stronger story-wise. I do think this goes a little slower, and that probably goes to the bi-weekly standard this book has. I kind of wish it was monthly. I don't want to be flooded with a good book. I just want... The book to always be good because I love these characters and I really do like the this team uh, but yeah it definitely it doesn't feel fillerish but it just wasn't as powerful as the last issue but there's some nice nostalgia once again here you get to see uh, Colossus use the uh, what's it called the the telekin uh, telekinetic fastball special so it's kind of a little spin on the fastball special so you kind of have some nostalgic moments there you have Colossus and Kitty talking a bit too uh, so you have good moments throughout the issue but um, like I said I think it would benefit if it was a monthly title because this does slow down the pace a little bit and kind of spread the story and expand the story with the Brotherhood so overall I'm going to give X-Men Gold issue 2 three and a half stars still really enjoying this book um, but but like I said, I thought issue one was a little bit stronger. But let me know in the comments below what you thought. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links to my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page for Like Father, Like Daughter. And I will see you guys later. Bye.